This video appears to show a helicopter flying over Venezuela's Supreme Court. A government minister says shots were fired and grenades were thrown at the court building and the Ministry of Interior. President Nicolás Maduro was speaking live on television at the presidential palace while the incident happened. They shot from the helicopter against the offices of the Supreme Court and then they flew over the building of the Interior Ministry. This is the kind of armed escalation I've been denouncing. This is the kind of thing I've been denouncing. I've activated the Bolivarian Army Force to defend the right to tranquility. The helicopter pilot is believed to be Oscar Pérez from the forensic police. He posted a message on Instagram. Venezuelans, we speak to you as representatives of the state. We are a coalition of military officers, police officers and civilians. We are fighting for balance and against a transitional and criminal government. The government says Pérez has contacts with the CIA. The helicopter carried a banner that read freedom and a call for the Article 350, which is the opposition's call for civil disobedience. But while the incident was taking place, opposition lawmakers were trapped for hours inside the National Assembly building, surrounded by armed government supporters. The government of Nicolás Maduro has called for a vote to create a constitutional assembly to rewrite the constitution. The opposition say this is a government strategy to hold on to power and have vowed to do everything possible to prevent the vote from taking place. Protests have been ongoing here for weeks with thousands of people denouncing the Constitutional Assembly as illegal. The government says that there is a plan to remove Nicolás Maduro from office and they say that Tuesday's attack is what proves them right. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Caracas.